Tonight, when the Pistons go up against the Portland Trailblazers at LCA, there's going to be a special tribute that's deeply personal to so many people in Metro Detroit. It's Ukrainian Community Night, and it's going to include what's expected to be a moving performance. Paula Tumman, live at Little Caesars Arena tonight, ahead of the game. Hey, Paula. Yeah, hi guys. You know, th this really is very, very important. We all know that center court at any basketball game is an important place, right? But this takes on a different kind of importance, particularly when it is this organization in this place. Tonight at the Pistons game against the Portland Trailblazers, the Pistons organization stands with Ukraine. It's like, you know, a piece of uh, uh, my soul. Everything. The Pistons have history with Ukraine. We had two players, Fi Mihailuk and Vyacheslav Krastov, who are Ukrainian and played for us at the Pistons. So uh, we've been uh, connected to that community for a while now, and it's important for us to show our support. The Ukrainian community choir sings a prayer, understanding they are safe and many of their close family relationships are not. The Pistons supporting Ukraine is very important for all community and also for all, for, for, for all people here in Detroit and in our country. This is a collective choir from Ukrainian churches across the metro area. Members invited to remind the world that after 26 days, Ukrainians continue to fight. 700 members of Ukrainian ancestry will take in the game for free. And an arena of people will have one thing in front of them, for a single, salient, important moment, unity. This is a perfect time for us to do what we can and do what we do to bring people together and use our game as a vehicle to not only bring awareness, but also bring that community together for a little time out and a little enjoyment when they have everything uh, so heavy going on. And in fact, we find out this evening that fewer and fewer of the personal stories of loved ones are escaping because Ukrainians, once anxious to show the world what was happening at the battle lines, have pulled back, believing Russia sees some of these social media posts and uses them to trace their targets. Most of the stories are not getting out because we would like to protect them. If people just posting videos and share with us when we have bombing or when planes attacking, attacking innocent cities, though if this video is shared, the Russian forces could take coordinates and they could bomb specifically place where like my friend was shooting a video about bombing of my city where I was living. Yeah, you know, tonight's game is supposed to give a little bit of peace, but there is absolutely no peace for people who have loved ones and family members who are still in harm's way. I can tell you that that sound check this afternoon was absolutely beautiful. They're so appreciative because when an organization like the Pistons stands up, it makes other people notice as well. Guys. You know, you mentioned obviously the awareness is important, but the fact that we can have a night of community and 700 different uh, people can attend this game from the community together is really important, Paula. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Paula. We appreciate it.